Today we are going to be creating a color bomb using n particle and soft fluid dynamics. So let's quickly get into it. So I'm going to start off by going to my FX menu and here I have n particles, right? And in the n particles, I'm going to take a create emitter, right? So this will create our emitter. And if you play this now, you'll notice that it's emitting our particle. So the first thing that we want is not our particles to fall down. So the way to prevent that is go to your nucleus and turn off the gravity to completely zero. Now, if you play this, you'll notice that we are getting this type of uh, omni looking uh, radial particle going on. So the way uh, we are going to play around with this is the first thing that we want to change is obviously the shape of this overall particle here. So I'm going to go to the shading and change the point to spheres. Right now we have something like this. Now if you play this, you'll notice that the particle are releasing too slow. So to fix it, I'm going to go to the emitter and I'm going to change the speed value to somewhere about 5. And we'll see how that looks. I think this is looking quite good. Uh, and yeah, this looks quite good. Now the problem here is um, the particles are too uniform. Uh, they're continuously going in the same direction. It's a bit uniform. The way we are going to change that is going to the end particle. And here you'll notice that we have the lifespan, which is set to live forever. That means the particle are never going to die, uh, which we do not want. So what I'm going to do is change this to random range. And that way the particle will die at a simple range. Now you'll notice that they are dying right about here. Somewhere right about here. All right. So this looks good. But the particle emission rate is still going on. That means the new particles are still um burning so what we are what we want is uh, we want to change that we want to go to our emitter here and what we are going to basically do is change the emission from whatever the emission rate is to back to zero so that means there's not going to be any emission so here you'll notice that we have the emitter type set to omni all right and uh, the rate per particle second is set to 100 all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to let this play out and right about uh, in 10 seconds i'm going to right click on this the rate per particle second and I'm going to set key. So we have basically keyframed our particle rate. Now in the 11th frame, I'm going to go here and put a number 0 and I'm going to right click and set key again. So that means on the 10th frame, our particles are going to be emitting their particle from 1 frame to 10th frame and from 11, it's going to be completely 0. So what we have here is something like this. Right, this looks pretty good. Uh, now in the random range, I'm just going to change the lifespan random to 0.5. We just have, uh, with this, we'll just get a little bit of randomness with the particles. Alright, so everything looks uh, quite good. But if you look at our particles, you'll notice that all of them are pretty much shaped uh, in the same size. So what I'm going to do is go to particle size. And here you'll notice that we have the radius scale. I'm going to open up this graph here. And uh, I'm just going to change few things. If you want, you can keep it to smooth. Alright. And uh, let's select this, let's keep it to smooth. And let's add uh, something like this, all right? So now we have some kind of randomness going on. And uh, yeah, so you'll notice that even though we have changed the graph, we won't see anything on uh, the viewport. The reason is because the radial scale input has been set to off. So change it to randomize ID and there you go. So from here, you can again start visualizing how your overall particle looks. I think they're too small here. I'm going to delete this one here. And let's so maybe bring this out right about here. And I think this looks quite good now. Yeah. So let's uh, add some dynamics into here. So the first thing that we're going to do is select your end particle and go to fluid and 3D container. Now with the 3D container, you'll notice that we get a default emitter that is going to emit the overall fluid, which we do not want. So I'm going to delete this. Let's get rid of that emitter. And uh, I'm going to select my end particle here. Now let's go back where we can see the particles. We have this end particle and we want our custom emitter, which is going to be this particle. So I'm going to select my end particle, hold shift and select this container as well and go to fluid, add an edit content and emit from object. And there we go. So now our particle will be emitting uh, the smoke here. So let's turn off the grid here and uh, the overall quality looks pretty bad. So I'm going to quickly go to my fluid dynamics and change the base resolution to 40. All right, let's play this. Now we have something like this. But one thing if you'll keep notice that uh, we still have some kind of emission going on here, which we do not want. And how to fix this. Uh, and the other issue that we see here is uh, obviously uh, the smoke are not quite following the particle, they are too big, 
for the particles. So to change that, what we are going to do is go to your fluid and inside of your fluid emitter, here we'll have this uh, something called as use per point radius. Click on that. And now if you play this, right, you'll notice that we are getting a perfectly nice look. It is uh, pretty small. It's really hard to see. So uh, let's quickly start playing around with it. So I'm going to go to my content details here and uh, I'm going to change the density to maybe like two. And uh, let's see. So we have something like this. This looks quite good. Uh, if we want, we can maybe add a bit more particles in here. So what I'm going to do is let's go to fluid emitter and select your emitter. And uh, let's go back to about 10th frame. All right. Uh, sorry, this is our emitter. And uh, here you'll notice that we have 100. I'm going to make this somewhere about 200 and right click set key. So now we'll get more amount of particles. There we go. I'll go back to the fluid. Uh, now here we have some you know, properties for the density. I'm going to make the density to 2. And also I'm going to add some velocity in here. So I'm going to set this to add. Let's make this one. Right. That's very good. I think it's a bit too high value. So we have something like this. Right. Let's keep the velocity to maybe like 0.5. Now another thing that you'll notice is that our smoke, uh, which uh, is being emitted here is kind of going up which we do not want so to fix that we have to go to our fluid shape and here in the content details we have something called as a buoyancy which is basically pushing our smoke so i'm going to make that zero and now if we look at here we have something like this now the smoke is going to stay there uh, so to make sure we don't see all of that smoke uh, i'm going to make the dissipation to somewhere 0.5 and now you'll notice that the smoke is kind of disappearing uh, maybe like a bit less all right so i'm gonna increase some more density in here to get a bit more out of our smoke this looks quite good and uh, let's maybe add some more stuff into it. the first thing i'm gonna do is go to the lighting and turn on the self shadow all right so that we will get more of these i think we need a bit more particles here and uh, again i'm gonna go to my emitter i'm gonna make this somewhere like 300 and let's set this key all right, so now we have something like this. Now in the fluids again, uh, what I'm gonna do is go to my content details and from here, if you want to add a bit more noise in here, just to make a bit more randomized looking, what you can do is add some noise in here. Now the fluid uh, kind of looks a little rusty. So what I'm gonna do is go to dynamic simulation and change this high detail solver to all with it. That way we'll get more detailed smoke, all right. So there you go. And uh, finally for the shading what you can do is you can uh, go for the density channel here if you go for something like a blacker smoke or maybe like reduce this here and I'm going to reduce the colors here and if you want you can keep it to a uh, center gradient right that way you'll get the access to uh, colors like this uh, you're getting basically a gradient which is being emitted from the center and you can start adding more colors to it something like this and uh, then you can maybe change this into bias and so on so again this totally depends on you how you want it exactly to be emitted exactly right uh, i've already explained the end particle and the fluid dynamics uh, so the playlist is pretty much there if you want to get into it uh, but this is how this overall looks now if you want to keep adding more stuff in here i'm gonna increase the base resolution the more base resolution you have the detailed smoke you're going to get but obviously at a rate of uh, at the cost of your calculation time right uh, so i'm gonna go for something like maybe a 50 right and uh, yeah so the more colors you have now for going a bit more higher or maybe like creating more stuff out of it what you can do is you can add a bit of a swirl in here and that will just make your smoke a bit swirly and with that maybe add a bit of a turbulence 0.2 maybe right and finally what i'm going to do is uh, and here you'll notice that the turbulence has turned a bit more higher so i'm going to go back to my turbulence and 0.100 until I find a decent value. 0 0.05 will be a good number. And in the dissipation, I'm going to keep this to 0.5. All right, let's playing around, playing around. And from here, the smoke will start to disappear. If you want it a bit more earlier, I'm going to make this to 1 again. 
right and you can also add a bit of a diffusion if you want that uh, I think the diffusion is a bit too high in here and there you go so now the smoke will disappear much quicker here all right so if you want you can add a bit of a diffusion if the diffusion is too uh, high or something like that uh, you can reduce that and you can also go to your end particle if you don't want to see those points you can uh, switch instead of here you'll get these points you can switch this to point and now you have something like this right uh, pretty cool looking so uh, try to add more particles in here uh, try to play around with the more color schemes right uh, maybe adding some more color in here will give you a bit more uh, good result so maybe try adding something like this and uh, let me make this a zero in here so we get the most out of it and again you can obviously play around with the overall transparency how you want the overall transparency to overall look like and uh, a bit more smoke control here and there um, and then again you have the edge drop off to pretty much control the edges drop you know uh, a nice feather on your edges and now you have something like this right uh, so this looks pretty good uh, looks pretty amazing I'm just gonna do a small quick catch in here with a bit more base resolution to see what this exactly look like and we'll see all right so i've stopped my catch on 40th frame and uh, this is what we have got uh, this looks pretty interesting so again keep your base resolution to pretty high you'll get more out of your smoke and maybe adding a bit more turbulence in here maybe something like that and adding a maybe download a good color palette for your overall shading uh, apart from that if you're using something like a temperature channel if you have the dynamic grid turned on then you can use that as well uh, on the other hand um, since we don't have the temperature channel turned on you can keep it to dynamic grid and recatch this again so you can use that uh, what we have is only the density channel in here so density is playing a big role here from the birth to de death and so on uh, but since we are not using any channel we are going with the center gradient you can also use different type of gradient if you want you can use maybe the x uh, gradient the y gradient and maybe the z and so on this totally depends on you what kind of uh, look you are going for uh, so yeah that's it uh, have fun creating your color bombs